What's up guys, the recently launched AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D has been tested on an A620 motherboard and delivers just as good gaming performance as an X670. The launch reviews of the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D CPU mostly paid with a high-end X670 class motherboard, which makes sense from a performance evaluation perspective since reviewers try to showcase the best possible performance that you can achieve on a stock and overclocked chip. However, the 7800X 3D is targeted at pure gamers. And and given its class leading efficiency and gaming performance, the majority of users will call it day by putting it on a B650 or a A620 board. But how well does the chip perform on an AMD A620 motherboard? This question has now been answered by Korean YouTuber who used Gigabyte's A620 Gaming X motherboard to see how well the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D 3DV cache CPU did. The performance was compared between a high end X670 motherboard and the aforementioned A620. 620 motherboard. The results are on your screens. In terms of gaming performance, there was virtually no difference between the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D running on an X670 or a low-end A620 motherboard. In fact, the biggest performance variable was around 2%, which is within the margin of error. And at Full HD, the chip runs just as well on a $300 motherboard as it would on a $100 design. However, the Gigabit A620, despite having a better VRM supply than most other A620 offerings led to large clock disparities, where the X670 board managed to hold the chip at a constant clock speed of 4.8 GHz across all cores in Cinebench, the A620 board had the CPU fluctuating between two 4.7 GHz clocks. You can see in the video that the CPU is running with lower power and the temps are also slightly higher. Now, while this would lead to performance degradation of close to 4.5% in multi-threaded apps such as Cinebench R23, it won't affect gaming much. AMD they already disclosed during the first gen Ryzen 3DV cache launch that they were willing to cut frequencies to provide a higher thermal and power headroom to the V cache since it offered a bigger boost in gaming performance and more or less compensated for the lower clocks. Since the 7800's X3D is a pure gaming chip, it will work well with an A620 board, and even the multi core performance difference of 5% isn't that concerning since you are also paying several hundred dollars less versus a higher end X670 board. Some vendors such as MSI even have enhanced boost profiles using PBO2 that can eliminate these clock disparities and even deliver better gaming and application performance as demonstrated by the company here. This feature is also available on A620 boards from MSI. The AMD A620 platform is designed with 65 watt CPUs in mind and considering just how well the Ryzen 7 7800's X3D does around 50 watts in gaming, it should be a match made in heaven for budget gamers. It looks like those who prefer overclocking and high-end chips still have good reason to invest in a high-end B650 or X670 class motherboard, especially if you want expanded I.O. The AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D does have good OC potential though as demonstrated by Scatterbencher. The CPU has also secured top spot in weekly sales at German retailer Mine Factory, blowing past its predecessor, the 5800X3D, which is super impressive. Guys, thanks for watching this video, please share it with your friends, see you in the next one. Peace out.